Hello, I'm Daniela. And I'm Liam. Hope you had a great weekend. This is episode 7 of the Weekly Updates. Enjoy. For this week's weather, there's a chance that it will snow Tuesday and Wednesday. For the rest of the week, the temperature will be very cold, but the sun will be out. Camera out of Baltimore performed at Memorial Chapel last Tuesday night as part of Martin Luther King Week celebrations. They are a choral ensemble whose mission is to provide young music educators and students of color an opportunity to perform, educate K-12 students about the choral arts, and celebrate the choral arts as a unique, precious gift from God. We were honored to have Dr. Mae Jemison give the whole school a wonderful speech on Thursday's meeting. She is the first African-American woman in space, founder and president of two medical technology companies, and the head of a project to make human travel beyond our solar system a reality. It was an incredible honor to hear her message. The International Carnival this Saturday night was a huge hit. Students from 17 different countries got to make food that represented their cultures. All of the food was super good. It was so cool to try food from all over the world. Last Friday night, there were so many fun events to go to in the rack alone. There was the percussion band concert in Chow's Theater. There was the faculty art show opening at the gallery and also Dick Peller's annual hot stove league with ESPN's Butler Olney, class of 82, and Sarah Lang's Rob Bradford from Radio WEEI and Galen Carr, class of 93, from the LA Dodgers in Heffernan Hall. The Learning Through Action Summit took place this past Sunday afternoon. It was an opportunity to learn from NMH students and faculty about ways to be more involved with campus and beyond. One of the service projects was Shampoo Shuttle. Shampoo Shuttle is a student-led enterprise that collects shampoo bottles from hotels and places them in larger containers to be donated to and used in homeless shelters. On the ice, the boys' varsity battled the Penguins of Cushing Academy to a 2-2 draw on Wednesday, and the girls' JV defeated KUA 2-0 for their first victory of the season. The boys' JV also secured a win versus Williston, Northampton, 7-2. Friday, the boys' varsity traveled to Worcester Academy on Friday night, taking away a 2-1 win from the Hilltoppers, and on Saturday added a 3-1 win over Tilton. Also on Saturday, the girls' JV extended their winning streak to two games, defeating Vermont Academy 6-4. The varsity wrestling team went undefeated this past weekend with wins over Belmont Hill, Phillips Andover, Brooks, and Phillips Exeter. The female wrestlers also had a tournament this past Sunday. On the slopes, at Wednesday's MISL competition, the girls took first of six teams and the boys took second of six teams. On the hardwood, Friday, the boys varsity was victorious over New Hampton, 93-85. And on Saturday, they defeated Dartmouth's club team 110 to 85. The girls' varsity basketball team continued their undefeated season. Here are the rest of the scores from this past week, and the home competitions coming up this week. Today, Maria Smith, a Milwaukee High School student and March for Our Lives activist, will be speaking out against gun violence and student empowerment. This week is a Wednesday too. Enjoy your half a day. This weekend is Family Days. Families will be able to go to class and meet their teachers and friends. Then, enjoy your long weekend. Now time for this week's Hogger Fun Fact. Pigs are quite intelligent and learn tricks faster than dogs. Sit. <laughs> <laughs> That's all we have for today. Enjoy the rest of your week. Have a great long weekend and see you soon.